doing a makeup tutorial that is based around spring and autumn. You can use it for either seasons because it incorporates a lot of coppers and um, reddish tones. So you can honestly use it for spring, you could use it for autumn slash fall as well. Um, I do want to apologise for this moment. The fan is on, my dad is playing music and there's a little bit more noise, so I'm not crystal clear, but I'm trying to like shout when I'm talking to you guys. I feel like I'm yelling at you right now, but this is a look that I have been wearing for the last week or so, and my mum has given me many compliments on it every time I wear it, so I love it. It's very easy. I am using a lot of Makeup Geek um, products in this, eyeshadows especially, and I'm using a lot of new products because I've been makeup shopping recently. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe... I forgot to use makeup setting spray. Can I do that now? I'll just do it right now. The makeup setting spray that I am using, which I should have used in the tutorial, but I didn't, is the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. This is a spray. Um, e.l.f. recently came out in Kmart in Australia. I am so happy because, like, I don't have to order e.l.f. online anymore. I can just go to Kmart and pick it up, but the downside is it is much more expensive than um, if you were to order it online. For example, I have the highlighting and contouring, um, highlighting, oh, the heat is getting to me. Um, the concealing and highlighting duo, I do have that, and I paid $2 for that when I got it online, but here it's $8, so it's a little bit... Like, what the hell is happening? I've used this in the tutorial, but this is $8. And I've found such a big difference. This is turning into a review. So I'm just going to zip it and just spray it. Woo! Then I wait for it to dry off. Um, but anyway, I just want to let you know that after using that, I found the world of a difference in my makeup. It stays so much, like, much longer. And I don't get oily as often, uh, or oily as quickly. Quickly, I swear, you know, this is probably why I don't do university anymore because I'm a little dips. But um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll let you get into the video. Bye. This step never changes for me. I'm using NYX's eyeshadow base and skin tone to prime my eyelid so that all the shadows that we use will be much more pigmented and they will all stay in place throughout the day or the night. Then I'm going in with Makeup Geek eyeshadow in Peach Smoothie which is a beautiful yellowy toned um, transition shade. I'm taking that on a big fluffy brush. Since this is our transition, transition shade, we don't have to be super precise with where we're applying it. You can apply it directly in the crease, a little bit above, a little on the lid. It doesn't have to be super perfect, it's just going to help the overall result at the end of the makeup look. Then we're going in with Frappe, which is once again by Makeup Geek. I'm taking that on a crease brush. And first I'm going to apply this directly into my crease, all the way from inner corner to outer corner. Just windshield wiper motions. And then you can go in circular motions with whatever's left on the brush and just slowly blend upwards. This is just going to help, once again, transition from the peach smoothie to the Frappe and then the Coco Bear and all the rest. So now I'm taking Coco Bear, which is by Makeup Geek, once again on that same crease brush and I'm applying this directly into the crease and I'm going to kind of leave it there. I mean, you can blend it a little bit. This technically is still not a cut crease. This is much more of a softer version of a cut crease, but this is just once again, like I said, helping the transition from lighter to darker colours. And now I'm just taking a big fluffy brush. Once again, no additional product, just blending it out so it's much more seamless. Then I'm going to take Cosmopolitan, and this is a beautiful copper rose gold shade. I'm taking that on a flat shader brush. I am going to apply this all over my lids. You can target your eye a little bit if you want it to be like super, super clean, but I'm just applying this all over the lid and bringing it just into the crease as you can see me doing right there. Now I'm taking Shimmer Shimmer Eyeshadow. I'm taking that on an angled brush. And I'm going to use this as my underbrow highlight. So I'm just highlighting underneath the brow, underneath the arch, and then blending it out to the outer and the inner part of the brow. Now this step is completely optional, but I'm going to take Chickadee, which is another Makeup Geek eyeshadow on that same big fluffy brush. It's a very orange shade, but this is once again going to tie in all those reddish, coppery, reddish, orangish shades together. Then I'm going to take L'Oreal Gel Liner, this is the black one obviously, and I'm taking that on a Revlon brush, an eyeliner brush from Revlon that I brought recently, and I am obsessed with it, it makes my eyeliner so much easier to apply. Now for some reason I am horrible, 
doing my eyeliner when I'm filming, but I promise you guys that when I'm doing it in person, I'm much more cleaner and much more perfect when I'm doing my eyeliner, but when I film, it's a little bit awkward, the angle and I can't hold my eye and all that different stuff. But anyway, now I'm going to use um, L'Oreal uh, Foundation True Match Shade W4. I'm taking that on a Makeup Geek Foundation stippling brush. And I know that it looks yellow when I'm applying it, but it is a yellow toned foundation, so it's not going to suit like more cooler toned, um, sorry, more... Yeah, more cooler toned skin, which is more like um, pinky shades. It's not going to suit those skin tones as much, but this is the skin tone that I have. But yeah, this just gives a really nice flawless finish, and I am in love with it from the day I got it. And then I'm going to use the Revlon uh, Age Defying Concealer. This is a lighter shade. I know that I don't need to use Age Defying products. This is just what I found. And I really like the coverage and things like that that it gives. It has a little bit of a luminosity. This is a lighter shade, like I mentioned, and I'm just applying that underneath the eyes, rubbing it in with my fingers in that upside-down triangle shade, which is going to give us a beautiful highlight, and bring it out to the corner of your winged liner and kind of clean it up so any fallout, it'll just wipe that all away. Then I'm going in with the Australis Pressed Powder. This is the shade Deep Natural. I'm taking that on a Kabuki brush. I'm using this to set my entire face. Um, I did use a makeup setting spray, but this is going to keep me matte, whereas a setting spray will just keep everything in place and not move. Then I'm going to use the Palladio Brow Pencil. The shade is brown. It has a spoolie on one side and the pencil on one side. I'm going to take um, the spoolie side first and brush through my brows in case I have any powder or anything in them. And then I will go ahead and fill it in with the pencil side. I like to personally start on the arch of my brow and the outer tail and I'll slowly bring it in. And then I will go back in with that spoolie brush just to kind of brush everything out because sometimes it can look really unnatural if you skip that step. This will just distribute the product very evenly throughout the brows. Then I'm going to use Peach Smoothie on a small pencil brush once again just underneath the lower lash line. I like to do what I do to the top, I do the same to the bottom, that's just my preference. I feel like it ties the whole look together. Then I am going to take a Cosmopolitan eyeshadow once again on a flat shader brush. No, that is an angle brush. I don't know, I cannot speak right now. But I'm just applying that directly, like kind of tight lining um, more than buffing it out. I want it more closer to my lash line. And this will just once again complement the top with the bottom. Then I'm going to use the Rimmel Scandalize Eye Curl in black. I'm going to use this to line my waterline. This is once again optional. If you're going for more of a wearable look, you can totally skip this step and just put on mascara. You can even skip the false lashes. But I am going to be using false lashes. I use the Demi Wispies, the 120. And I'm just applying those. Uh, lashes are another thing. When I'm, when I'm filming and applying these, it just does not work. But in person, I promise you, I am a lot better. Now I'm going to use the Glow Baby Glow uh, Bronzer from Models Co. This is a new product that I bought. And it has a beautiful like gold shimmer in it, but it's not to the extent where it's going to look muddy when you go into contour. It's more of a glow, like it says. It's not so much like a shimmer. And I'm just defining my cheekbones with this and then putting some of it on my temples and on the outer parts of my forehead. You guys know I've done many videos on contouring and highlighting, so you can go check that out on my channel if you want a more in-depth view on what I'm doing at this very moment. And then I'm going to take Smooch um, Blush in the shade Peaches. This is so cute. It reminds me of like the NARS packaging, but I just picked this up at the chemist the other day along with that Glow Baby Glow thing, and yeah, I really quite like it. It's so pigmented, and I think the peach in this really complements the eyeshadow that we have going on, and it's perfect for any eye look. It doesn't have to be just for this eye look. Peach is a color that will go with any eye look that you do. And then I'm going to take the Sugar Baby Graduated Bronzing Powder. This is the Glamourase. I'm taking that on a fan brush and I'm using this to highlight the tops of my cheekbones and um, my chin down the bridge of my nose and in the inner parts of my forehead. Once again, check out those videos if you want a more in-depth view. Then I'm taking the Ramel Apocalypse Lip Lacquer in Nude Eclipse and the Models Co. Lip Gloss in Striptease. First, I'm going to apply the Rimmel one. This one doesn't have a super, super glossy look. That's why I like to top it off with the Models Co. Lip Gloss for a super nude lip. I like to focus more uh, on the eyes, and then I'll do a nude lip, whereas vice versa, sometimes I like to focus on a lips 
more than more than the eyes I cannot speak I'm using the Maybelline falsies mascara to put some of that on my lower lashes and also bind my natural ones in with the fake ones but yeah that's the final look I hope you guys enjoyed it please like comment and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video bye